Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to share a couple scarf projects that I just completed using this Burnett Velvet yarn. This is a 100% polyester yarn and it has this velvety feel to it and it's pretty thick um, as you can see here. And it comes, at least in the yarn store that I shop at, um, in the hobby store, it comes in this 10.5 ounce, 300 gram big um, big ball of yarn so it might come in other sizes as well but with one skein of of this yarn you can actually knit up a whole scarf so I have a couple scarves here that I've knit up using um, two different colors one was this um, this red color and then the other one is actually the vapor gray which is this one here so um, with each of these one just one ball you can do a whole scarf project and for both of these scarves i've used different patterns for this one i just used a regular rib a one knit one pearl and for this one i used the, the turkish stitch pattern as you can see i think it looks really pretty and it's a completely reversible pattern so it looks the same on both sides as is the the one the one by one rib so um, both patterns i think look great and i did add tassels at the end for both so that's just an optional thing if you want to do so let me show you really quickly uh, working with this yarn it's actually really simple so i have here size nine needles that i'm just using or not this one let me let me get the other one yeah size nine needles um and as you can see i've cast on a few stitches here using the long tail cast on. I'm gonna cast on a couple more to get a total of 10 stitches. Now I've provided the pattern details for both scarves in the description field. And just wanted to show you how easy it is to, to um, cast on with this, this velvety thick yarn. And for the, the one knit one pearl scarf, it's really simple. All you're doing is right off the cast off edge, cast on edge, you're just doing one knit and then one pearl. And that's it. So both those patterns are actually very, very simple. Um, the Turkish stitch pattern is a little bit more complicated and I'll show you that in just a minute. But the one knit one pearl, as you can see, very simple. The yarn handles really well. Um, it keeps the tension decently and it doesn't fray or anything. So that's the best part. And you can knit as loose or as tight as you want. I think with these ones though, it helps to be a little bit on the looser side. And that's it just a one knit one pearl and you're going to keep doing that you don't need double pointed needles i'm just using it for the demonstration but you're going to keep doing that each row and then you'll get your your one knit one pearl scarf so really simple and um just the feel of the scarf is just so squishy and so plush um so i hope you if you want to give this one a try definitely very easy simple pattern now for the turkish stitch pattern i had done a separate video on the turkish stitch um, with a cowl that I'd made and I'll provide a link to that at the end of this at the end of this video if you want to check that out but you need an even number of stitches oh I forgot to mention on that one knit one pearl um, you need an even number of stitches and for that scarf I'd used a US size 8 needle um, you can change the size of the needle again you want a 7 size 7 or a higher needle just because of the the or a thicker needle just because of the thickness of the yarn. If you used a, a skinnier needle, then I think your work will look really, really tight. Um, so maybe a, a size seven or higher. But again, I've provided the details in the description field. Now for the Turkish Turkish stitch as well, you do need a, an even number of stitches. And it is just a one row repeat. And so let me grab my other needle here. Okay, and it is just a, it is just, a, oh, never mind, it was right here. It is just a one row repeat, and the pattern is a little bit more, a little more different. So you knit the very first stitch, then you bring the yarn to the front, you slip the next stitch purl wise, so insert and slip, then you knit the next stitch. Remember, your yarn is in the front, so you're kind of making that extra stitch. And then you're going to pass the slipped stitch over. So you can take your left needle, insert it into that and pass it over the stitch. So what we did just now was an SKP. And that's the pattern repeat for the whole row until the last stitch. So bring the yarn to the front, slip as if to purl, knit, and pass that slip stitch over. Okay, and that's it. You're going to keep doing that. 
until you get to the last stitch. Again, it helps to be a little bit on the looser side on your cast on. Okay, and then when you get the last stitch, you're just gonna knit it. And that's it, that's the row. You're gonna turn your work and you're gonna keep doing that same row, row after row, to be able to get your beautiful Turkish stitch pattern. So both of these patterns I think are fun. You can certainly try different patterns um, with this yarn, but just wanted to showcase this. This is not a paid promotion or anything. I just love this yarn so much. Um, and there's actually projects on the yarn itself to make blankets or even pillow cases or pillow covers. Um, so I think I'm going to get some more of this yarn and maybe try some of that. But I hope you give this one a try. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments field and I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel for all upcoming videos. Happy knitting!